And that impressionable age is cold blooded. That K through twelve, if kids don't start off that K through twelve with somebody really loving on them and treating them right and respect and they, you know, have a comfortable place to lay their head and this is home. You know, and I know in this day and time, I know that's kind of hard because I know a lot of people are displaced and whatnot. And, you know, it, it's, 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 it's crazy out here in this motherfucker. I, I got it. But at some point, that's why I also say, too, as I was telling my son, you are supposed to have as many kids as you can afford. If you can't afford them, don't have them. Leave them in the cabbage patch. Leave them in, leave them in the universe. You know what I'm saying? Leave them in the heavens. Because you only are supposed to have as many children as you can feasibly afford. Not how many you can put on your goddamn case. You understand what I'm saying? That's a total difference. You know? And me personally, the way I look at it, well, I'm not going to even take this to two or three places because I know some people probably get offended. But in my personal in my personal belief, I believe that, you know, I don't got two arms. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to need somebody else with me. If I got more than two... God damn it, I'm going to need somebody else there to help me, God damn it. Fuck that. If I'm going to have five kids by my goddamn self. You know what I mean? That's a lot. And and actually, I, you know, it, it kind of makes you think of what's really absent in a person's life. You know what I mean? What are you running from? What are you trying to do? What are you trying to uh, achieve, really? Because I really think that it's a deeper thing, and especially when it comes to down to girls and when it comes down to boys in my opinion i've never been there but just from my observation i feel as though when it comes down to the girls there was some form of a loss that she didn't feel that there was a love there or you know or a connection there at home to whereas now she wants something to love her unconditionally and so on and so forth and that is the consensus that in most cases that you hear now with boys I think it's more of a fight or flight. And I think it's a lot of flight. Oh, well, this girl told me no. This girl, uh, she tripping. So now I'm going to go over here to this one. But now you left a baby here with this one. And now you over here with this one. It's like, what are you running to? Okay, so because you reached some adversity over here. Because this first one was probably one that really loved your ass. But because she told you no. Or she was saying, okay, but well, what are we going to do with our lives? And what are we going to do with this? And what are we going to do about that? And what are we going to do about this? And she was pushing you so much for excellence and for growth. And was loving you unconditionally. Oh, nah. She over there tripping. Uh, all she want to do is argue. All she want to do is constantly have stimulating conversation. I'm trying to kick it. I'm trying to blow. Oh, you talking about this some other shit. I don't want to hear all that shit. So that's why I went over there. So what's over there? Some pussy? What's over there? Some drink? What's over there? Some motherfucking smoke? Some kick it? So then you go over there and you kick it. But in the midst of y'all smoking, sucking, fucking, doing everything and everything with everything, everything. Now this motherfucker here gets pregnant. But then you get to realize, oh, okay, well, this bitch really don't want nothing in life. No way. I knew she was a bottom when I met this motherfucker. All she wanted to do was suck, fuck, kick it. You know what I'm saying? Sit back there in the room and do this all day. You can't do that all day. And then expect for you to, you know, be in a certain position in life. How is that going to work? It's not going to work. But then, now he done kicked it with this one because she was on some old kicking shit. Now, now she's pregnant. So now... He back over here with this one because she got some goals and aspirations and trying to do something and all that shit. But whenever she hit him with a no or, you know, some form of, you know, resistance. Now, OK, I damn sure don't want to go over here because this bitch ain't got shit popping. So now let me go get me a different one. Now let me go find me some whole new different pussy now. So now let me go over here. Now I done met me somebody else. So now they over there talking to somebody else. Now he ain't telling her nothing about this crazy bitch that he got a baby by. Nor is he talking about the one that was really trying to help his ass and really trying to do this, this, and this. He don't really want to talk about that shit either. Now he meets somebody new, the new victim. You know what I'm saying? It's the new victim now. You know what I mean? He telling her what the fuck she want to know. You know what I mean? I'm this, this, and this. And but he feeding her the shit that the first one told him. Okay, well, baby, we need to get us some goals and where we're trying to go in life and what we want to do and this, this, and this and where we want to be in 10 years and how we want to raise our children and, 
You know, babe, you need to re rebuild your relationship with your mom and this and this and this. That's what the first one was telling me. Nah. She was too much for right. This one over here on the bullshit. The new one don't know shit about these other two right here. Just kind of got a little inclination about them, but not so much know so much about them. And it's like, okay, now what? And it just brings on a harem of, of, of women. That's how, in my opinion, I think this is how this shit goes. I'm not a man. But just from my observation, this is what I think. You know, and, and from the different men that I've met in my life, man, them motherfuckers got stories that they will never tell. It's like top secret clearances to know what be going on with these motherfuckers. And, and my thing is, whenever you meet somebody that's so tightened up as far as their life, it's a don't ask, don't tell. Don't ask, don't tell. Don't ask me about my life. Don't ask, but they want to know everything about yours, nigga. You, but that's a red flag like a motherfucker. It's like, okay, wait a minute, hold on. Who you running from? Because it's for one thing, you need to be wondering why you wound up so tight. Why you wound up so tight? What's wrong? You got to release a little bit. You got to open up a little bit to let somebody else in. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. I'm all over the place. I have a sensory overload on different shit popping up in my motherfucking head that I need to speak on. Different shit that's popping up in my head that I need to hold on and fold on. You understand what I'm saying? My shit is like, doo -doo -doo -doo. I mean, it's like data going across. You know how, like, when you're watching the news or watching TV and you see all this shit scrolling at the bottom? And it's like, but your peripheral, you're up here, but your peripheral is hitting down there. And it's like, okay, but let me hit on that. And this shit is just scrolling down. And it's like, okay, I'm on this topic, but this shit right here is on the teleprompter and scrolling across. And it's like, man, okay, am I supposed to hit on that or am I supposed to just stay here? That is where my mind is at right now. And I'm, and, and I'm level-headed right now. I'm very, very, I got some patchouli going. You know what I'm saying? I blew just slightly, but not nothing really, you know, over the top or nothing like that. Um, but my head is all over the place right now. And, you know, it just took me some places, the conversations that I was having with my children. That is the bottom line. The conversations that I was having with my children over the weekend and the conversations I was having with my daughter, you know, on where what she wants to go and what she wants to do. And, you know, because her life is getting ready to be on a whirlwind. I mean, new friends, new possibilities, new opportunities, growing up, growing out, you know, and she too is like, you know, mom, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be leaving soon. You know, how, does, how, how are you going to feel, you know? And it's like, I don't know how the fuck to feel, honestly. And I guess that's another thing that's bringing on these conversations too, because it's like, man, okay, now that my kids are growing up and growing out, now what do I do for me? You know what I mean? What do I do for me now? Because it's like, man. But still, before I can even concentrate so much on me, I still got, you know, their legs and their bodies. They're still with me. So it's like I'm still on what I can do for them. And how I'm so, right now, so motivated and moved on getting their mindset on where they need to be in life. So they never, because I don't want mine out here looking crazy. I don't want mine out here looking crazy. I just don't. I don't want my daughter out here going through things with men and shit and going through. I mean, I cannot shield her from everything. I understand that, Lord. I cannot shield her from everything, and I understand that she has to grow. But it's like, man, I guess because of the things that I have been through as a woman, I just don't want that for my daughter. I don't want it for my daughter. Fuck that. I want her to live so I want man, yesterday when I picked her up from work and I was like, man, let's get I'm so excited about her life. It's like, man, let's let okay, what 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 we gonna do? You know what I mean? What we gonna do? You know, and she's like, Mom, I'm ready to start driving. I'm like, okay, well then boom, let's go. You know, she was like, Man, I wanna go see Kendrick Lamar. I was like, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Shit, girl, you about to be 18 motherfucking years old. You got a little job. You supposed to be assimilating with motherfuckers that's doing the same shit you doing. So then therefore it ain't all on you when it's time to roll. The whereas these little motherfuckers can put in on the gas. These motherfuckers can get their own tickets. And y'all get y'all outfits together and y'all go. Go. There's no shackles on you. You don't have no babies. 
You ain't got nothing on you to tell you that you cannot go. Man, and just like my oldest, I'm like, Anthony, oh my God. Nigga, you supposed to be traveling in this motherfucking world. Man, and see, as a kid, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a dentist. That was like my whole thing. I wanted to be a dentist, man. I wanted to be a dentist when I was a kid. And then I, as I began to get older, then I was like, man, I wanted to get in more in movies and pictures and all those types of things. But as a kid, I wanted to be a dentist. But things just didn't happen that way. You know, I met my husband at, what, 19, 20 years old, and it was a wrap after that. You know what I'm saying? It was just, I, I was, it was just all him, and that was it. That's all I knew, you know? And so, uh, <clears throat> but damn, now that I'm, now that I'm getting ready to be all, uh, empty nester in a minute, I'm, I'm like on a countdown. Within three years, it's probably going to just be me here at this house all by myself. Then what do I do? What do I do now? Because it's like, man, I've, you know, I've set my life down pretty much for 20-something plus odd years for my children, for my husband. I put in 20 fucking years of marriage, man. I did that. And I, 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 because and the thing is, and even though the proceedings still hurt my children, but I couldn't see hurting them at 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 years old. I couldn't see it at that time. And then, too, you know, when my parents got them passing off, and then, therefore, it was already lost. So it was like, man, I, there was dark chapters in my life. That it's like now I'm, re, I'm trying to remake all that. You know, all those rewrite some memories in my kids' life and reboot them up to where it's, you know, because I don't want them, you know, having no strained relationship with me. Fuck that. I want them niggas to come over here. Come see about me, goddammit. Come see about me. Come see about me. Come see about me. Don't just move on in your motherfucking life and don't give a fuck about me. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Please come see about me. Call me sometime. Come through. Come drive over here. Come see about me. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And so that's what I'm trying to build in my relationship, my relationships and strengthen them. You know, and it's like, okay, where did I go wrong at? Tell me where I fucked up at because we need to fix this because I don't want you out here in this motherfucking world with your, you know, your trust issues fucked up with people because of whatever relationship you had with me. I don't want that with my sons and I damn sure don't want that with my daughter. I don't want that because it's going to come back looking at the mama like, okay, well, damn. You mean to tell me your sons is out here just out here doing this? Your daughter's out here. Why is your daughter out here having four and five kids and shit? 20 years old, got three babies. and I mean, what the hell? You didn't have no relationship with your daughter the way y'all couldn't talk? It's like, baby, what we need to do? Do we need to go get Norplant, uh, Orthonovum 777? What is we doing, Depo? What we doing? Because, no, there had to be some form of breakdown somewhere around 11, 12, 13 before she got up to 20 with three. I don't know anybody that got 20 with three, but I'm just saying, I'm just, you know, speaking. I'm certain there are um, um, women and, and, and somebody probably watching this that knows somebody that's 20 years old and got three children. But when you look at that, it's like, where was her relationship with her mom? <coughs> her rela It's going to fall back on the mother. When you see a young man out here and he's just out here reckless, it's like, how was your relationship with your mom? You know, women, a lot of times you need to look at the relationship between these men and their mothers. For real. I mean, now I understand that, you know, uh, I don't want no hand-packed man and I don't want no mama's boy. And I don't, I think there's a, I think there's a middle ground. A middle ground to where, yes, he loves and respects his mom, he respects women, and yada, 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 but he lives his own life. You know, that is what I'm talking about. Not whatever my, my mama told me that oh, you don't wash clothes like that. My mama told me that you ain't supposed to cook oxtails like that. My mama said you ain't supposed, a wife is supposed to get up every morning and cook me breakfast. My mama said you're supposed to have all my stuff washed up. You know what I'm saying? Now that's some bullshit. It's a whole different day and time. It's a whole different motherfucking era. You know, and brothers is trying to come through with this old 1965 bullshit that's over with. Ain't no motherfuckers doing all that. Okay? Unless you're gonna... if you, I'm gonna give you what you give me. Okay? 
Now, if you doing all this shit for me and just this, this, I'm going to do it for you. That's just the way it is. But there's absolutely no way, shape, or form you're supposed to expect this woman to make your plate, do this and this, wash your clothes, give you, bathe you up, and this, this, and you calling her bitches hoes, sluts, and you slapping her around or whatever. You cheating on her with different women, and you doing this and this and this, but you want her to do this for you? That don't, no, nigga, you want a slave. That's some 12 years of slave shit. That's some bullshit. Let's just be real about that. Come on. That's something wrong with a man's manhood on some real shit. When you want your woman, make my plate. Do this for me. Do this for me. Do this for me. Do this for me. Okay, well, what are you doing for her? Well, I'm dicking her down. I'm giving her this good-ass dick. I'm, I'm paying some of these motherfucking bills. I'm keeping the lights on. Come on. How are you treating her, though? Are you respecting her? Huh? Are you really respecting her? Are you respecting her wishes? Are you respecting her nose? Are you really respecting that? So then therefore don't ask for all of that. That's some other shit. <laughs> don't ask for that. You know, and especially if these young ladies also have to have a full-time job to go with it. You want her to work a full-time motherfucking job and then still come home and cook and do this and this and this and this and work and wait on your hand, your ass, hand and foot. When that's all you're doing is getting up, going to work. Man, oh no. I don't know about all that shit, but hey, to each his own, to each his own, that's how some people live, and it, you know, it has to be, you know, hey, if you like it, I love it, or whatever, but to me personally, I think it needs to be an even exchange. If this work, woman is working a full-time job, and you're working a full-time job as well, when you get home, you got duties, when she get home, she got duties, and you're meeting in the middle. If you have a full-time job and this person is primarily at the house all the time, then yes, for them to pull up their end of the bargain, then yes, they should be cooking and cleaning and helping, you know, manage the home and bring all that aspect up because this person is out abroad working and bringing money home and money into the household. So then therefore, that still is a partnership together. But no, you can't just because you got a full-time job she got a full-time job, but hell, when you get off from work, you kicking your feet up, make my plate, do this for me, do this for me, I need a pedicure, do my this, 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 give me some pussy too to go with it. Nah. Nah. <laughs> and I think delivery has a lot to do with it. Because when a woman loves you, it ain't nothing she ain't gonna do no motherfucking way. And to take care of you, that's what we, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's part of our makeup. You know what I'm saying? It was part of the reason why we was brought here. So, you know, for a woman to do for a man, it just comes naturally. But if you're not going to treat her with honor and respect, man, you can't expect all that bullshit, nigga. If you don't shut up right now, what the fuck? Okay, if you want me to do all that, nigga, you got to no, no. Oh, my God. No. I can't sign up for that one. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna, I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, I'm not. And if that means that I would have to be by myself, then that's fine. Because for me, personally, I need partnerships. I need it to go hand in hand. If I'm doing for you, goddammit, you doing for me. It's not going to be no, um, you, how come you can't? Do this, this, do this, 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 this. I don't know where that entitlement comes from. But you know what? I was watching the, um, and I guess what's steering this conversation to is because I was watching the Yala, Van Zant, Fix Your Life over the weekend. That motherfucker, oh my God. I saw Nephi Nim, that came on part one and two. Then, after them, I saw Michael Jackson motherfucking nephew and his wife. Uh, and well, his girlfriend, I thought that was his wife. And uh, Yala was like, well, how, well, what are you gonna do? You just gonna, and he telling you that this is his house and he telling you to get out? Oh, my God, I was so fucked up with that show. I was like, oh, my God. Nothing them had me tired. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers had me tired. Because, basically, she was basically depict that same motherfucking shit I'm talking about. As a motherfucker that's just getting fucked up. And that's all they want to do is get fucked, get, get fucked, get fucked up, and kick it all motherfucking day. And so, basically, when her dude came through 
Well, he and, and what was tripping me out was he met her when she, didn't they say didn't nephew say she was like seven months pregnant or something? He met her pregnant. So that let you know a man will take you wherever you are in the motherfucking life. And she already had kids already, a gang of them already. Her ass seven months pregnant, and this motherfucker was love at first sight. Oh my god, nigga, that gave hope like a motherfucker. I was like, oh my god, nigga, I, and before the motherfucker show in, I was in love with that motherfucker. I was like, shit, nephew, you don't want this motherfucker? Nigga, I, I got to forgetting all about that other shit. I was like, oh my god, is this niggas really like this nowadays? I'm like, oh my god, I didn't know that. I did not know that because I guess that ain't never been my reality. So I'm like, you meet this lady, seven months pregnant, and this was love at first sight, and she's already pregnant with somebody else's baby, already got children already. Nigga, and you was like, whatever you need me to do, I was fucked up. Oh, my God. Ain't a goddamn thing I ain't supposed to have being shit because I be doing all kind of motherfucking things. And then, and then this bitch is getting drunk all day, and this motherfucker is still, he's getting off from work. He was selling, he was saying that he get off from work, he come home, he cooking and cleaning and all this stuff, and her ass is drunk on the motherfucking couch all day. And this nigga was crying about that shit. And he was still loving her. And then at the end, she took off all these motherfucking eyelashes and all this motherfucking makeup. Nigga, that motherfucker came out like a raccoon and that nigga was still in. I was like, oh my God. If y'all don't give me one of them motherfuckers, please. Oh my God. I was so, that man had me spinning. I was like, okay, man, <laughs> let me call some shit into motherfucking existence. Because she was, he was like, without all that. That motherfucker went back, took off eyelashes, this, 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 didn't take the hell off, but took the rest of that motherfucking shit off, nigga, came back out there, that motherfucker was, that nigga was like, nigga, you would, nigga, you would thought Lisa Ray stepped in that motherfucker. That nigga was fucked up. That nigga got all engaged and scooted all up in his seat. He was all engaged. I mean, just love her. Girl, listen to me. Okay? Now, you didn't want to tell them motherfuckers that y'all asses was evicted and all this old type of shit. I don't understand that shit either. You got five motherfucking kids and two adults in a motel room. I don't know how in the fuck, where in the fuck that happened. That's all that kicking it. That's how I was saying how men will leave this, they'll leave this one and go to this one. And then they have all these different women with different scenarios. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I kick it with this one because she got good pussy. I kick it with this one because her brother smelled, uh, her brother sell dope. And that nigga always got it hooked up with weed. I fuck with this one over here because her head game is on 10. Niggas got women for whatever they need them for and it's just disgusting to me. That shit is so fucking disgusting. Women have, have dudes in their, in, in their uh, rotations the same thing. I equally find that as disgusting. Honestly. Because it's like, so you fuck this nigga on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then you got a weekend nigga. And then you got this other nigga that just moonlight every now and again when it's time for you to pay Spectrum. Nah, see, I can't, I couldn't do it. Because I, I, I guess I'm just territorial like that, and I, I just work in partnerships. I, I just, just give me one life partner, just one. I don't need two or three niggas. I don't need none of that bullshit. Just one motherfucker, and let's make this shit work, nigga. I'm even willing to share my shit, nigga. If you good to me, if you good to me, nigga. Everything, every motherfucking thing I got, nigga, it's ours, nigga. I'm on that. I'm on some partnership shit. Let's blend. Let's come together. Let's respect one another. Let's put our shit together. Let's do this right here together on some together shit. That's what I'm on. That's hard for motherfuckers to really receive that when they don't come from that, when they not used to that. It's it's like some type of ulterior motive. Wait a minute. Is this a setup? Uh-oh, God. This is a setup. You lying to me. Nah, let me lie detector your ass. Let me, nah. Everything you telling me can't be the truth. Nah, I ain't really worthy of that shit. I don't even know if... Is this for real? That's how motherfuckers be acting with me. Is this for real? Nah, I got a lot... I got to give you a lot of tech to test. It's something about you. I don't know. Motherfuckers ain't really down for no real. You know what I'm saying? They used to shenanigans. A lot of motherfuckers is used to motherfuckers playing games. They ain't used to motherfuckers saying, Okay, well, nigga, okay, then what? Is, is that all? Is that it? Okay, well, then, nigga, that's already. That's nothing. Let's go. 
They ain't ready for that. They want some old nigga. Fuck you and nigga. This thing right here and nigga. This, this. Man. But oh my god, she pulled off all that motherfucking shit. Came out there. That motherfucker was in like Flynn. And I was like, wow. It was just. It just felt so good to me. It felt so good to me on how he opened up to Ayala. It felt so good to me on. Uh, I mean, that was just a good show. That was just a good show. But it showed how the breakdown in men on how prevalent it truly is. And a lot of women ain't even knowing nothing about it. They just tripping on how this motherfucker... Why is he tripping? Why? Because there's a reason. There is a reason. And when his beginning was fucked up, this is what is going to be. A man that's just out here in this war erratic. Fucking this one, fucking that one, fucking this one, doing this, doing this, doing it. Man, something wrong with your motherfucking ass. Ain't nothing hot about that shit. Ain't nothing hot about, even for a woman, ain't nothing hot about having connections all over here. Sharing your body and your time and your all this, your personal space all over the place. What is that? What is that? That's too much. Shit. Fuck that. That's too much to keep up with. That's too much to keep up with because it's just showing that your motherfucking ass is trying to get on. And whoever tell you no, then you just detour to somebody else's house. Okay, she said no, so let me go over here. Okay, this one right here, her baby daddy over there, so I can't fuck with her this week. Let me go over here. Now that shit look crazy. That's some kid shit. At a certain age, now I don't know, I'm not speaking to nobody direct. You know, I'm just... You know, just saying, you know, because in this life, there's a lot of people going through a whole lot of things. And I'm certain this is a direct hit for somebody. I'm just the messenger. I'm just giving it out. I'm just giving it verbiage, giving it a voice. Okay? I'm just giving it a voice. So I know that there are some men and some women living this frivolous lifestyle. And they think they got it going on. They think this shit is hot. They think they cooking with gas. They have four or five different niggas that they fucking... And mama, that ain't hot. It ain't hot. Your pussy don't even know what it want to do. That motherfucker don't know if it want to, you know, conform to this one or conform to this one. Your pH balance is this, 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 this. Because a woman pussy really don't smell when that motherfucker's balanced. What makes a woman pussy smell is when that nigga come in that motherfucker. Okay? Let's just be clear. Okay? Now, a woman can take a shower at night. Whatever that motherfucker smell like, that's her scent, okay? Now, but after she done sucked and fucking laid up in the bed with your motherfucking ass and done been under these motherfucking hot ass covers and all that shit, you get a whiff of that motherfucker about four or five in the morning, that's from this fucking. That's because his juices, the mix with her motherfucking juices, sometimes it's harmonious and it smells really good. Sometimes it could be foul. Sometimes it could be this, 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 this. But that means that somebody is sharing these secretions with other people probably. You know, the way as her pH balance is a little bit off or his shit ain't right either. And then it's coming together and it's just not really uniform. You know, so men pay attention to that. Women pay attention to that shit. So a lot of times men be thinking, oh, what's wrong with your pussy? Why your pussy don't smell right? No, nigga, that's your dick. Okay? That's your shit. That's your motherfucking shit, my nigga. Okay? Smell your shit after it comes. Okay, smell your shit after it come, because it, it, it don't have to necessarily be the woman. It could be your motherfucking shit now, okay? But if it is the woman, though, she need to be uh, not out here because your, your shit don't know what it want to do. You know what I'm saying? It don't know what it want to do. So, um, that was just another message that I had to deliver <laughs> to somebody. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't mean to, but I don't, I don't mean to be disrespectful or too overt to whoever, but I'm just saying Clean your shit up. Clean it up. Because it's not looking good. And it's not looking hot to nobody. I mean, who who is that? Who wants that? A man doesn't want a woman that's sleeping with everybody. And a woman don't want a man with no community dick either. It goes both ways. If you want your woman to be, you know, um, what's the word I want to gather? You want her to be wholesome to a degree. Okay. There's a reality in there that you got to also kind of work with, too. I mean, at a certain age, a woman is going to have a certain type of past. Just like a man. At a certain age, you're going to have a certain type of past. You know what I'm saying? So, then also, that has to be respected. 
Just like I was saying a while ago, sometimes you have to respect somebody where they at. You know, you have to respect the person where they at. Where you meet them, that's their level of vision. You have to respect that. Okay? Now, either you're going to roll with that vibration or you're going to keep it pushing. Now, you can meet in the middle and say, you know what, there are certain things that I really, really adore about you. But then there are certain things that just don't fit so much with my vibration. Let's talk about that. You know what I mean? Is, it, are, uh, is our companionship and our partnership worth working together past these differences? Or are these differences too overt or too much? The whereas, mm, I really don't think I want to take up much more time with this. Let's just keep this as a friend level. Keep this shit light. You know, from time to time, we talk or whatever. You know, probably go out from time to time. Um, but don't really expect me to really lay with you or nothing like that. We're just going to keep it platonic. We're just going to be friends. You, I mean, you can do it like that. You know what I'm saying? And, and truly, I have friends in my life that we're just platonic friends. No sex involved, whatever. I'm not vibrating on his frequency. He's not vibrating on mine. We both ain't feeling each other that way, but we cool as a motherfucker. We can hang out and go out and be friends and all this other kind of stuff. I think it's kind of crazy when... You know, motherfuckers feel like they can't be friends with the opposite sex and ain't shit going on. Nigga, say, what's wrong with you? I truly question that. Because, I, you know, just like, you know, a lot of people question my relationships, have questioned my relationships, especially with Mr. Malibu. And I've gotten my fair share of alerts about different people watching those videos all over the weekend. Oh, my God. If you think for one moment that I don't, I can't see, I can see. And on my things, it's telling me what videos are watched the most. Um, I can I can even pinpoint it down to within an hour of what videos are being watched the most and how many minutes they're being watched and all those different things. As the creator, you're able to see those things. And those of you guys that also do videos, you know what I'm talking about. You can see what people are watching, okay? And so... It's like all throughout the, throughout the weekend, I was getting so much of Mr. Malibu's things was coming through on my end. Whereas 